Suppose that we have two classes. First is a car class with functionalities like start engine, stop engine. And second is an engine class with functionalities like accelerate, deaccelerate. And now we have been asked to design a class Ferrari. So how will we use these two classes to design our class Ferrari? What will be the relation of these classes with our Ferrari class? We have two options here. We can use inheritance and we can also use aggregation. So when to use inheritance and when to use aggregation is the important question here. The answer to this question is whenever we have a is a relation. In that case, we should use inheritance. And whenever we have a has a relation, in that case, we should use aggregation. So in this case, our Ferrari class will use the car class with a is a relationship, which means it will use inheritance. So Ferrari, however advanced a car it may, it will still be a car. So Ferrari is a car. And in case of an engine, a Ferrari will have a engine. A Ferrari might have two engines as well, or it may have an advanced version of an engine as well. So basically, Ferrari owns an engine. If it is a dead Ferrari, it might not have an engine as, as well. So, you know, in this case, the relation between engine and Ferrari is has a, which is, you know, aggregation. So our Ferrari class will get modified as follows. It will extend the car, a car class using inheritance and it will have an engine class using aggregation. So friends, deciding between inheritance and aggregation what to use is an important design concept and it will help you in implementation as well as in interviews. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such videos and also press the bell icon for notifications.